Yo, what up guys, it's me here, Quick Joe, and I will be doing a little tutorial today. Um, first off, if you didn't subscribe yet, make sure you subscribe to my awesome channel, and make sure you be up to date with me. But, um, that's not what it's about today. I'm going to be showing you all the basics of recording your Xbox 360, PlayStation, and not PC, because I don't know how to record a PC, I don't give a shit. Um... First off, you want to buy a PVR if you don't have one yet. It's pretty expensive. It's 200 euros, and I guess then it's going to be 180 quid and 220 dollars, something, something around that. Uh, and it comes with the program Total Media Extreme. You're going to install all of it. It's going to ask you for an update after you install it because the CD that comes with it is an older version, but there's an update available, and it will just install himself if you just click and click OK and follow the steps and all that kind of stuff. That is not important, um, but you do want to get the new version, by the way, because there you can there is an option to not re not install the new version, but it will not give you the option to record in PS3 uh, or Xbox or the, the AVC HD version uh, type thingy. So you want to open it up, give it some time to load up. And there you go you got your uh, airsoft capture module whatever it's called um, all the cables go in the back of your pc or uh, in your in your television screen or whatever you're using um, the cables that come out of your xbox the component cables go into the pvr and then the pvr component that comes with the pvr uh oh shit. um are gonna go back in the back of your tv again so that's pretty basic and easy uh, you can just google it if you don't know how to figure it out but if you're a handy guy and <laughs> you're not that retarded um you'll probably figure it out because i didn't need any help with it it's, it's pretty easy but um after you installed the capture module uh you want to go to format settings by the way because it normally uh the recording bit rate is at nine and a half or something and if you do want to improve your quality a bit you can just turn it all the way up and then just hit okay uh, it's going to improve your file size a bit, so if you don't have enough space in your PC, uh, I recommend not doing it, but if you do have enough space and you want a little bit better quality, uh, I recommend turning it up, Turning it up, of course. Uh, I do record a PlayStation 3, and yes, I do have an Xbox and no PlayStation 3, but that's because if you click PlayStation 3, it records at M2TS, and if you record, if you click on PlayStation, or Xbox, sorry, um, it records at mp4 and for some reason mp4 doesn't always work fine for me on sony vega so that's why i just record a playstation 3 um exit out of here because i don't need it anymore and we're gonna open up sony vegas and you want to go find your file because you can select a place where you want to output the uh, recording file i just made a entire folder call of duty uh, montage uh, records it says opname that's Dutch <laughs> probably not gonna understand the fuck about that um, drag it in there and there it is on your timeline um, most people will have this the black line on the left side right side on the top or the button or button whatever you call it uh, it's gonna be on a different place for everybody because every PVR is different somehow. I don't know why what the reason is But what you want to do is get your arrow at the beginning of the timeline go to crop panel then get the zoom in thingy zoom in all the way at the black line then get the arrow again and just drag it across the black line and you can save your template as PVR, just what you want. So you can just use it later on again. It will appear on this list over here. And you don't have to do this repeatedly every time. If you save it, so you can just hit this save button over here and it will save it. So now that's out of the way. Um, you can go all the way down to your effects list. And there's an effect called sharpness and just take the reset to none and pull that onto your timeline video and you expect you expect it to do nothing but it actually does improve the sharpness a bit and that's just what you want to improve your quality a bit that's what i always do that's what i recommend to uh just get a bit better quality than most other people 
So just drag it on, leave it like that, and just exit out of it. And there you go. Um, yeah, most people are probably wondering, how do I record my voice? Um, you can just right click over here, insert audio, and you got the little red icon over here. Just click that, it will choose a folder where you want to save the file. It just doesn't really matter. And there you go, it's recording your voice. Um, you do need a mic, of course. Um, if you buy a cheap mic, quality is probably not going to turn out that good. Um, if you do have a Turtle Beach or anything like that, you can always, of course, hook that up to your PC and use that. Um, most gaming headsets, headsets do deliver good mic quality as well. So um, that's a good tip for you. If you do planning to spend a lot of money on a mic, um, you can better just buy a good gaming headset like a Turtle Beach or a Sharkoon. That's what I'm using. I'm using a Sharkoon 5.1. You can Google it if you want to know what it is. I will, by the way, put a link in the description um, where you can buy a PVR um, and where you can buy a uh, Sharkoon 5.1 Dolby Surround gaming headset. You can just check it out if you want to. You don't have to, but uh, if you want to know how it looks and how expensive it is, you can just check it out. And if you want to order it, of course, you can always check it out as well. Um, so that's how I record my voice. If you do want to start recording, because as you can see, it's not recording anything else. It's just showing my, my, my voice and that I'm talking. Um, you got the little red icon at the button over here as well, or button, uh, and you want to just click that and it will start recording your voice. As you can see right now, it's recording my voice and you can go on as long as you want. So, um, yeah, that's it. And you click the red, red icon again and it will appear as this and you can just click done and there you got it. Recording your voice as you can see and there, there you got it. That's it. So I'm going to exit out, out of all of this. Um, so that are all the basics. If you do want to see some other tutorials, if you have some questions, just leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, of course, at my channel over here. And that's it. And don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye-bye.